Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we're bringing you the benchmark test for the Galaxy S9. Now this is the S9 Plus version. It is a pre-production model and this specific model is the Exynos version because I know I'm gonna get that question and like, oh, what version is this? It's the Exynos version. Uh, so this one is the one that will be released more outside of the US than inside the US. So just know that. Um, and the version of the US will have the Snapdragon 845. We would expect similar benchmark testing, but again, just for all disclosures. So let's go over the main two, which is Geekbench and then N22. So first of all, for Geekbench, it scored 3,574 and a multi-core of 8856. Now, if you do want to compare that to last year's models, this is the Galaxy Note 8 to the left, and this one scored 1808 and 6046. So you're definitely seeing a bump up in single core and in definitely in multi-core. So you see the difference really there overall. Um, Again, this isn't final build, so you can like see like some things look weird in the um, actual information that the phone is giving off. But overall, you can see that it definitely scored higher. Now, how about the other one, N22? Well, for N22, this one scored a 250342, and these are the specific ones. Whereas on the Note 8, it scored a 19.5395. So you can definitely see the difference in GPU, CPU, UX, and, and memory that overall this is just definitely performing better. Uh, both were about the same temperature. Again, this one's having issues with verification uh, just because probably it's on their system yet. But overall, you can definitely see that the S9 Plus is definitely outperforming the Note 8. Now, is this better than say like an iPhone? Mm -hmm. No, it's still not at that level uh, of it. So I will let you know that. Um, I don't have uh, the iPhone test with me, but I do remember the iPhone test being over uh, 10, uh, um, 10, um, yeah, 10,000. So it was definitely better in multi-core. I do not remember the N22, but I would say that it's probably uh, around the same, if not better. Unfortunately, N22's rank system is, isn't available anymore, as I used to be able to see everything uh, from before on theirs, but they're having some uh, revamp right now. So I just wanted to show you guys how it compares to last year's models and how it is this year. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys really care about benchmark tests uh, anymore? Do you think they're a good indication of speed or do you think that they're a bit outdated now at this point? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.